Uh, before all that, earlier on the programme, we started the programme this morning talking about the struggles of addiction with Kenny Sampson, the former England and Arsenal footballer, and uh, beside us now, the addiction expert, Daniel Jarrard, who was talking uh, to Kenny, and uh, he's here to take um, your calls. And it was a very sad and tough situation today with well, Kenny, yeah. but you, you have been through it. You know what it's like. How would you describe how we left him today? I think, um, I think oh, quite obviously, he's just not ready at the moment. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, he, I've, I've sent him a text and called him and mm -hmm. maybe he'll change his mind. And he, he was jittery, so he yeah. would have needed a drink, you know, yeah. after the yeah. show. Well, let's hope he, he keeps yeah. in touch with you. But a lot um, of you in we've a got a lot of Yeah, we've got a lot of calls. I want to start with Diane. Hello, Diane. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Good morning, Diane. Um, Hi, you say you do drink. It's not something you want to do, just a way of coping with things. How did this all start, Diane? Uh, it, um, due to probably relationship breakup, family issues. Um, sorry, I'm really nervous. I know. So it's fa it's family issues. Um, you say you've you've never been to the doctor. You've never been to the doctor or anybody. This is the first time you've uh, you've kind of talked about it. Was making this call today. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, and have have you had a drink today, Diane? No, not yet. Not yet. Well, she Thinking keeps about it, the. But not yet, no. Yeah. This this Daniel is a, a secret for her. She hasn't sought professional help. She's got trauma going on in her head, in her life. Um, the alcohol is her friend. Where, do, where does she go from here? Uh, there's, a, there's a few routes uh, forward. Um, firstly, you could try Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, which is a fellowship of men and women who meet uh, regularly to help each other stay clean. Um, every area has a local drug and alcohol team which you can uh, make contact with and go down and see them and talk to them. You would get their phone number by going to the Talk to Frank website, which is the government website for drugs and alcohol. And, um, you know, you can um, maybe get some free counselling from your doctor. Your local GP may be able to offer six sessions of counselling. How, how much are you drinking, Diane, in, in a typical day for you? Maybe two, three bottles of wine, maybe a litre of vodka. The thing is, I don't get drunk. <laughs> so, when, you know when people have a drink and they get drunk? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't happen to me. I drink to forget things, yeah. and then I can switch on and be normal, just like that. Is that what they call functioning alcohol? Well, I'm not saying know. Dan is an alcoholic, know. but I don't know. But is that when people can function and they don't always appear to be drunk? Is that more worrying? Well, I think, I think but maybe uh, you're staggering the amounts that you're drinking every day. Are you drinking when you wake up in the morning? Quite often when I've done everything I've got to do and, and nobody's around, I just... You know, I do everything normal. I do all the things I have to do and then I come home and... Do you okay. think you could take some of that help that, that Daniel suggested there? Maybe get in touch with one of the local Take the first step, teams. Diane. Yeah. Sorry? Do you think you, you're able to make the call to one of the, the helplines that Daniel's talked about there, or maybe yeah, even your GP? Yeah, I do want to do that. You do. Well, you made a phone call to us. That's the first step. Good luck to you. Try Alcoholics Anonymous. Thank you, Thank Diane. Thank you very much, and keep watching, Diane. Good luck to you. Well, the fact she's found, um, I suppose, is no... It's the first step It's forward, the first step, wanting yeah. help, isn't yeah. it?